The government decided to shut down ERT under the current legislation and a joint ministerial decision. Broadcasting at ERT will be terminated once today's programme is complete at the end of the day. We feel that you will be the communicators after you hear us out and learn the truth. You will be with us to combat misinformation spread by a fascist-like government behaving like a new dictatorship. And in fact, uh, uh, closing the public uh, uh, ERT, closing the public uh, television and radio uh, was an attack on democracy, and I think that still it is. <laughs> For the past five months, every day, every single day, an event is held here, either a concert or an open discussion, a round table where people are free to take part, or a theatrical play or movie screens, and the people's participation in all of these events is well evident. <laughs> When we first began this fight, none of us anticipated it would last this long, five months. Nor could we have anticipated this extent of public support. We have now reached a point where the government can no longer ignore the current situation, and it has to come up with a solution. We knew from the very beginning, when we first began this struggle of ours, that the solution could only be a political one. Because the decision taken was also political, it was not based on any laws. It is entirely unconstitutional. The government is now faced with a number of other problems in addition to that of ERT. To illustrate this, tomorrow the Troika will be arriving here and will require 4,000 more dismissals by the end of this year. In fact, today's information has it that the Troika will not take into account our own dismissals in this number to be achieved by the end of this year. Therefore, there are many more problems in addition to ours. I don't know, my everyday life, it's, uh, I haven't understood uh, yet what is going on. I mean, I feel like I'm in a, um, in a war. I have said to my, to my child uh, that uh, she's 10 years old, that uh, I'm missing all the time from the house, and uh, that I have to be here to resist about uh, this uh, decision of the government. So we brought together a trade union delegation from around the world to come to ERT to learn the, the stories of the workers and the technicians, the journalists here who have been occupying ERT because it's very inspirational to us uh, because we are labor journalists but also because we understand that the fight that you're uh, experiencing here today is something that we're also struggling against in our own countries around the world 